Hi there, welcome to a third channel, I mean second channel video. This is a lower quality video because it's Christmas, it's a Christmas special. So, this isn't the video I was intending on making, but I have ran into a problem. And that problem is, I was trying to benchmark some games, and my game hard drive, which is this, well, this hooks together with a USB cable, alright? And... It only works if I, for example, had pressure on it, like so. And the problem with that was, uh, well, it disconnected basically every few minutes. So I tried pushing it together more, and I completely broke this thing apart. And the, yeah, I don't know if you can see there. The, the plug's missing. The inside of it's all broken to pieces. So I decided to go over and uh, do some research and upgraded. Well, this to something better, and that is this, a, a SSD 2.5 inch drive holder, which I need to add. There's 3.5 and 2.5 inches, alright, uh, and the difference is, well, there's not too much. Basically, 3.5 inches is this one, and you can put desktop hard drives in it, and this one here can fit every single type of SSD and laptop hard drives, but it will not fit desktop hard drives. Either way, the 3.5 inch one, it needs external power, as you see here, 110 volts, and it has its own cable, like that, to plug in to the hard drive, and then it has the USB cable as well. These are nice, though, it's annoying to move around because it needs external power. I just want to be able to plug it into the computer and go, which was... What was nice about this King Win thing that I was using for a long time, though it wasn't very protected and I was always worried about breaking the connector off, so this gives me an excuse to upgrade to this. It is a Netstar 3.1 SATA SSD hard drive enclosure USB 3.1. I've not used this or even taken it out of the packaging here, so. Let's take it out of the packaging, there's a little Christmas special here to see how it works. Oh, okay, what just happened there? Something happened. Oh, okay, this is the hard drive enclosure. Uh, okay, so this is what the inside of it looks like. And this hard drive cage, it comes in and out really easily, it seems. And it seems like there needs to be some screws to hold it in. And that's because it does actually have screw holes. The question is, uh, does this box come with screws? Oh, yes, it does. And it comes with, oh, the same kind of cable, actually, which is mediumly concerning, but that's okay. Uh, it has these things right here. Okay, you know, let's take this thing apart here and install the SSD. The SSD I use for games is a 2 terabyte Samsung 870 Evo. It's not big enough. But let's ignore that for now. So, let's see, how do we install the SSD? So we just need to slide it in, like, somehow. Uh, okay, this is a tight fit. I don't know how to do camera angles today properly for this, but that's fine. Okay, there we go. It's installed, and I... Okay, I have to screw in the hard drive to the bottom here, it looks like. Let me get a screw real quick. One moment, please. I mean, let me get a screwdriver, not a screw. Well, I also need a screw here as well. So let's just plug in the screw. That made no sense. That's fine. So screw number one of many, you go into uh, here. Or you don't go into here. Okay. That's not, that's not working. Because of gravity working, it pulls down the SSD, so the screw's not long enough to get to the SSD. So I have to actually hold the SSD in place, and then I can go and screw this in. Yeah, that works. Okay, and now that I've screwed one of the screws in, I can screw the other one in, and that shouldn't be a single problem. And it is not. Good. Alright, we have four screws to put in to hold the hard drive in place, which is more than I typically would use. I'd just put one screw in, but I mean, hey, we have all four screws here. It's a new product. Let's just do it right. Uh, and it seems like I have one spare of each type of screw. I have one spare of the big metal one, and it looks like I have one spare of the little plastic uh, black ones. They aren't plastic, by the way. I don't know why I said plastic. Uh, because there's only two screw holes. Well, let me just get this together. So you just... Let me just slide this together somehow. How do you do that? Okay, it has... 
Okay, no, I, I see. You just slide it somehow. There we go. Yeah, it has a little uh, thing here, and I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't go any further in than this. But there's only two screws that hold this together, and they're super tiny, but that's that's fine. Well, okay, I need to get a different screwdriver. That's too big. All right, well, this is the smallest screw head I have. It's a Phillips head zero in size, so it should fit with minimal problems. And yes, it does fit. So let's screw in this itty bitty screw. Luckily we have a spare, so if it goes flying, I actually have a spare one. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's in. Maybe I just stripped it. Who knows? Let's flip a lid it over and screw in the other side. Um, just, there we go. I feel like I'm going to lose the screw at any moment. Uh, no, it was already. I already had the screw screwed in. We didn't lose it. Uh, not fully in, but partly in. Uh, I can't actually make the screw as tight as I'd like. I think I need a slightly bigger screwdriver head. Let's try a screwdriver head instead of zero zero. Let's try a zero because a zero is slightly bigger. There we go. Yeah, let's just make these nice and tight so the screws don't fall out. It also has a light over here, and I guess that light just tells you that it's turned on or turned off, and it also has the plug right there. And it plugs in, well, just like that. There's only one way it can go in. Inside of Windows here, you can see the hard drive shows up just fine. 160 gigabytes free of 1810 gigabytes, or 1.81 terabytes. Now, the motherboard I have this plugged into is LGA1155. It doesn't have USB 3.1, it just has USB 3.0. So it will only run at 3.0 speeds, but let's do a test by updating some games to see how fast or slow it is. All right, it is going at not very fast speeds. It's only at USB 2 speeds actually right now. Okay, give it a moment here. When it starts verifying the files, maybe it will actually speed up. Well, one way to find out, by waiting. Alright, and now that it is patching, it is still not going extremely fast. Actually, it's going relatively slow. So, what I'm going to do is unplug it and plug it into a different port and see if it actually works better in a different motherboard port. Alright, it is installed in a different port in the motherboard, so let's see what it does now. It's patching 46.51 gigabytes, and normally that should take about eh, 5 to 10 minutes with the old hard drive setup. So let's see how it works with the new one. So according to this, its maximum is between 30 and 40, and that is what I'm getting. 30 to 40 MB slash S. So for some reason, it's running at USB 2 speeds and not USB 3 which is rather confusing to me because it should be running at USB 3 speeds. Hmm, let's restart the computer and see if that fixes it. All right, it is back up and running. Let's try a different test actually. So this right here, this file is over a gigabyte in size. It's a Cinebench R23, R24 I mean. So what I'm going to do is move the file between one hard drive and another, and see how it reacts. Alright, you go right here, and let's see what it is doing in terms of speed. Oh, there you go, it's going above USB 2 speeds now. Now it's in the 40s. Oh, never mind. Now it's in the single digits. It can't seem to make its mind up, can it? Though now it's actually CPU limited, and not, uh... USB limited, so I guess that is a slight fail right there, isn't it? Alright, let's try to do some sort of game update on uh, the Epic Game Store, like Fortnite, for example. Fortnite is notorious for having humongous downloads. Okay, there you go, that just proves my point. Almost 44 gigabytes, that is humongous. Alright, let's see what it is doing over here. Mm, oh, there you go, it's going at USB 3 speeds now, about what I expect. Well, there you go, it's running at its correct speed now, around 60 megabytes per second, 270, sometimes it goes faster, right now we're CPU limited. So, 
a restart on Windows is all that it needed to go from USB 2 speeds to USB 3 speeds, which is kind of odd. It should just work out of the box, but whatever. Either way, thanks for watching this low effort, low quality third channel. I mean, second channel. This isn't the third channel. Thanks for watching the tech channel today. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And have a happy new year. 2024 is coming. No, it's already 2024. 2025 is coming. No. No, no, it's not. Two, oh, no, wait, what year? Uh, wait, Windows. Oh, it's 2023. Have a good 2023. Yes.